we're approaching Wonderland Road, Mandy, uh, at the traffic lights up ahead. So there we will proceed to turn right. Wonderland is one of those streets that's become excessively busy as London has developed, and it's chronically pretty backed up. So now you've got a Commissioner's Road food basics here. Don't put your signal on just yet. Just delay a little bit. Now put your right signal on. Shoulder check in, Mindy. Slide over, and yeah, I'm gonna come on over here. That's it. Cancel that briefly. Now, and then once you get up here, put it back on here. Yeah. Bicycle lane is there, and you can see they've done a nice job with the paint there, green. Um, now look at the lights, Mindy. You can see the advance. Now I wanted to point out you were gonna get a green, and you did, of course. Okay. Check your blind spot again if you can. That's it. Slow. Look left and go off the brakes and turn it. That's it. Foot over the gas. Push the gas and you come out of your turn. Let that wheel slide out. That's delicious. Sorry, I don't use typical words. That's it. Lift off a little bit on the gas. You don't have to brake. This way we avoid the braking with these people. Remember, Londoners love to pull out in front of you and force you to brake. Mm -hmm. Right? They love to lift, the, pull out in front of you and force you to lift off the gas, which is not ideal. Right? Yes. If this were road test standards, if you pull out and force someone to brake, your test is over. You force them to lift off the off the pedal, and the examiner notices it's over as well too. Lights are yellow. Brake firm a little bit now, and then check your rear view, and then soften it up. And again, tires and pavement, my brother, is what you ideally want to see a little bit of the road. When you stop, so you can see the tires and the pavement, man, deep, you'll have about a car length in front for three reasons. One, if God forbid somebody hits you, you don't hit the car in front of you. Yes. Two, if they're driving a standard manual, they could roll backwards and you left room to accommodate that. Mm -hmm. And if they break down, you have enough room to get around comfortably. When you look as you go left and right, see you under, when you can see the tires and pavement of the vehicle in front of you, one revolution of the wheel will get you out. Now, why do I emphasize that? Because I don't want you to steer more than you need to. We're efficient with the steering. There's less effort to bring it back to straight. So yes. everything is about efficiency in, the, in terms of how we teach it. No, we don't accelerate more, we don't brake more than we need to, we don't turn more than we need to. Foot's over the brake, because we're downhill, we're picking up momentum, and it's a red light, you're doing a great job. Way to go, my team. That's it, my brother. Check your rear view as you approach if you're comfortable doing so. Tires and pavement once again. That's it. Look as you go left and right, accelerate, look far, rooftop of the car, the truck. That's it, my brother. Notice again, this guy's accelerating a little bit strong in the gray Ford Escape. Yes. So your thoughts are potentially he may come over and he has once again, right? Yes. Anticipation of the nation. Uh, these signs people give away. Remember, some signs people give away are direct, right? And other signs are indirect by their by the way they're moving. Here you got this F-150, Van Deep, so be mindful. I uh, Watch him. Either you're going to back off a little bit, Van Deep, or you're going to accelerate. I think you're doing the right thing non-aggressive. Now you push it a little bit, Mandy. That's it. Watch one of these guys here as well, right? Okay. Good. Look for your information, my brother. There's a red hand flashing, right? You see yes. that? Cover the brake, Mandy. Look for the clock. What's the clock? I can't read the number. I uh, think you're good 17. to go. 17, yes. Bring your wheel back to the right a little bit, my brother. That's it. Well done. Look ahead. Across, look across the curve. Hands are very incremental. Millimeter movement, hold it and see, right? Yes. You want to, steering is your input device, your movement is your output. So you want to see what you're getting all the time. Okay. Soft curve, very little movement of the wheel. That's it. Peek and move that rear view once again. And we'll continue to proceed ahead. Look at those lights. Look for the walking symbol or the red hand or the countdown. That's, that's valuable information. This is a minor light, but still we look. It's hard to see that. I can't read that at all. Yeah, it doesn't it's look like, like it's working. Yeah, yeah it's a, Cover that brake as you approach. Check your rear view to see who's behind you, and we'll proceed straight ahead. That's it, my brother. Again, we see... The flashing <coughs> hand. Yep, flashing uh, red hand. Looking for the countdown number. I, I can't see because the car's in the way. Look left and right. That's it, and gas. That's it. Remember always never lane change in or near an intersection, right? Okay. And do this, the, the observation as you're approaching. Yes. And keep in mind that most collisions in many instances happen in or near intersections. Look left, right as you go, and again it's minor, so you don't need a lot of head movement there. Mandy, I'd like you to make a lane change to the left, my brother. Put your okay. left signal down, check your blind spot, turn your head, and that's it, and just slide over. Very nicely done. That's it, my brother, good. 
Mandeep, I'd like you to turn left of the lights up ahead. Um, I think it's Beaverbrook is the name of the street. Okay. Left signal on now, my brother. So it's always signal, mirror, look over your shoulder, and then you go. We call it SMOG, S-M-O-G for an acronym. Signal, mirror, over your shoulder, go. Now, here, stay tight left within your comfort zone, Mandeep. Take advantage of that round mirror. Always remember, my brother, there's no benefit being wide in a turning lane. Mm -hmm. Here you have the island. Uh, I will always encourage all of my people to stay tight within their comfort zone. Um, why? You have a better chance to see. Staying tight left will not guarantee you vision, but it certainly improves the odds. Yes. If everybody would practice this simple thing, it would make it easier for all of us. Now, if there was no island bed deep, you would be left centered in your lane, but you would not be tight left because you, no, you don't have any physical protection. There's yes. the arrow bed deep. You go ahead. Proceed at a balanced speed. Green arrow still there. That's yeah. it. Make your turn. Look, and you're gone. That's it, my brother. Well done. Look up ahead. Notice the London Transit buses. Lift off the gas, cover the brake, my brother. Because the truck is pulling out. Peek it with the rear view. That's it. Slower. And yeah, that's perfect. Lift off that brake, man. Deep. Back to that gas. Look to the right. They're striking. I didn't know that. Anyways, signal left, my brother. Hold it here. Stop. We're going to wait and see. Check your rear view. Let this car pass first, Mendy. I don't like to pass buses in general, Mendy. Mm -hmm. But here, when you go around, use a little bit of gas over there. No. Swing it out. Push with authority a little bit. That's it. Leave your signal on. That's it. That's it, my brother. That's just to keep people honest, you know? It keeps them guessing kind of straight ahead. Okay. <laughs>